now to a developing story in the South Bay and the endless string of sewage spills across our border. Two state lawmakers say they may have a solution to stop this. And 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina has the $2 million plan they say could do the trick. It floods here so frequently, these warning signs are often left behind, so they're handy when the water goes over the road. And it's not clean water. Maria Egger's great-grandfather first settled in the Tuwana River Valley almost a century ago. The family's dealt with far too many sewage spills from south of the border. It's pretty nasty. We get sewage running down the river for about four days after every storm. 230 million gallons of raw sewage poured into the valley and across the border when a pipe ruptured in Tijuana three months ago. This on top of all the trash that flows with it. We need to find a way to tear down bureaucracy, you know, and start to start to implement these projects. State Senator wants to reallocate $2.1 million to end these disasters. Assemblyman Todd Gloria is his co-sponsor. What we believe is necessary are the creation of pools or catch basins on the American side that any sewage that flows across the border will stay in these catch basins as opposed to flowing out into the ocean and contaminating our beaches. Plus, get Mexico to commit to major improvements. We absolutely need to work with Mexico. We have to find what they can do, what they'll agree to do. I'm not entirely optimistic. But if anything is going to work, it has to come from our side, not the Mexican side, because all the officials over there have pretty much just been giving us lip service. One suggestion, convince the Mexican government that it would benefit too. So, a ray of hope. I certainly hope so, but until then, I'm just going to be, you know, here holding my breath, literally, because it does not smell great. And the neighbors will attest to that. Steve Fiorina, 10 News.